Designing the study. So how are we going to go about studying the speeding rate of drivers in red cars or the speeding rate of my blender on Frappe? We've got to figure out how to observe the effects of the independent variable upon the dependent variable. And guess what? We're in serious luck. We've got five choices to choose from, five types of study designs to whet your appetite. The five most widely accepted research design types are surveys, interviews, experiments, observation and participant observation, and secondary data analysis. First, a sample is a subset of a larger group. Basically, a sample represents a population of something. Sampling can be done either methodically or randomly. Methodical sampling is the conscious choosing of your subset members. Random sampling is sampling among a group of subjects where all subjects have equal chances of being chosen. The first research method to consider is the survey. A survey is a questionnaire distributed to a specific group of people in order to find out something about them. A survey is a good way to study a large sample of people. The questions in the survey tend to be rather specific because the survey is meant to get as much precise information as possible. Information collected in a survey may include basic demographic facts like sex, race, and income, or more complicated issues like drug use, bathroom habits, or your favorite real-world character. The second research design is the interview. This is the gist. Somebody interviews somebody else about a particular subject or subjects. The third type of research design is the experiment. An experiment is when a hypothesis is tested in a controlled environment. The fourth type of research design is observation and participant observation. An example of observation is when a sociologist studies the group dynamics of a clique of teens without speaking or interacting with them in any way. The researcher tries to be as unobtrusive as possible. Participant observation is when a researcher has direct contact with the activities being studied. The researcher is actively engaged in what is being studied and observed. This contact can be very intense or it can vary in degrees. In participant observation, a sociologist lives or works with the group or community being studied. This method can produce rich results and unexpected findings. However, only a relatively small group of people can be studied at one time. The fifth and last type of research design is called secondary data analysis. Secondary analysis, or content analysis, is when you use the data collected by others in order to test your hypothesis. Examples of secondary data are rates. Official data, like information collected by the government, such as census reports and documentary analysis, or information from written words like newspapers, magazines, and poems, or information retrieved from visual and or audio data, such as television shows, movies, and radio broadcasts. So those are the five types of research design possibilities. Surveys, interviews, experiments, observation and participant observation, and secondary analysis. Well, we've told you about two steps of the research process. One, selecting and framing the hypothesis. And two, designing the study. But those are not the only steps we have to climb. There are three more steps to the research process. And we're going to tell you about them. These last steps, which we will barely give the time of day to, are three, collecting the data, four, analyzing the data, and five, reporting and presenting your findings. Put simply, in step three, you actually perform the research design you've chosen. In step four, you look at the data you've collected and see if it supports your hypothesis. Then in step five, you present your conclusions. The conclusions would be that either the data supports a hypothesis or the data doesn't support the hypothesis, or the data is inconclusive. But each of these steps does get complicated because they tend to deal in numbers and even statistics. We don't want to get too bogged down by this stuff. So we're going to keep on rolling down the tracks of sociology. <laughs>